Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Another video, Pierre here. So today we're gonna focus on why people fail at learning the language. Chances are, if you live here, you've probably had the interest in learning the language, you've been forced to, at school to learn a second language, you've come across somebody else that doesn't speak a language as yours, you've probably even started and then you stopped. So why do we fail at learning a language? And the answer is simple. Use it or lose it. You either don't use it, and when you don't use it, you lose it. You don't immerse yourself in it. You don't use it often enough. You know, a lot of people's stories, oh, I took French in high school and I took Spanish in high school, but I didn't use it and I didn't use it and I lost it. So the, the big fact right here is getting engaged with people, immersing yourself with people. Instead of going to Starbucks, why not go into a French cafe? Why not go into a French bakery? Why not order your food in French? Why not hang out with a French cook? You know, maybe change your friends a little bit have a bit more diverse a bit more eclectic group of friends usually other language speakers are very interested in teaching you how to speak what they like how, well, not what they like how to speak their language they're very very interested in doing that so you want to find people that are that way so that way you will keep that language alive in you I have languages that are in me that are just kind of in there. These are not going anywhere. But I did have a friend and one thing that he did for me that I really appreciate was uh, a certain language that I speak, which is my mother tongue. He never, um, he kept speaking to me in that language. He wouldn't speak to me in English because he felt that was a disgrace and an embarrassment to not be able to speak my own language. And as he kept doing that and doing it, he wouldn't speak in English. As he kept doing that and doing that, I got better and better and better and better. And now I can just, no problem at all. So when he calls, we speak English and we just kind of go back and forth. Oftentimes we switch back and forth, but we understand each other just fine. Why, what are some of the reasons why you ultimately feel at learning a language? Um, it could be mild interest, you know, just want to kind of, it's a hobby, you know, that could be, that could be one reason. Um, I had to because I was in school. They forced me to do it. You know, not that you really wanted to do it. You just got to get an A. I took Spanish because it was the easy one. Could it be just to impress someone? Well, what if that person doesn't want anything to do with you anymore? Then you've lost the interest in that. No practical usage. You learned the language, but you're, this is, a lot of people fall into this category. They learn the language. Take, I know this girl learned three years of Mandarin Chinese, but she just had no outlet. She had no one to use it with. She had no one to use it to, you know, speak to. And because of that, she lost it. So what are, the, some, what are some of the reasons why, these are some of the reasons why we ultimately fail at learning a language. So some of the right reasons now why you will ultimately be successful at learning a language are these. Uh, you have reason and an outlet to use a language. Uh, you have maybe a Chinatown. There's usually a Chinatown in every state. I hope that's not a racist statement. I'm not trying to be racist. But you have a Chinatown usually in every state or every city. There's a place where the Asians will gather. There's a place where maybe certain immigrants tend to gather. It could be a German town. It could be a Somali town. So you have a practical reason to use it. Perhaps you have a friend. Perhaps your wife is a foreign woman. Whatever the case may be, you have a practical reason to use that language. And because of that, you'll be successful. You end up immersing yourself in it. Some of you watch Japanese anime. It's not the best thing to be watching, but you're, you're ending up using it. You're, you're listening to it, you're hearing it, and so on and so forth, and you're using it. And that's what helps you to retain that. Ultimately, if you want to learn a language successfully, you need a practical outlet for it where you can use it, you can meet people, you can talk to people who not only have an interest in you, not only do you have an interest in speaking to them, but they actually have an interest in teaching you because you care about them and you want to hear about their culture and they really appreciate that. And that's what Fluent Friends is all about. And ultimately, if you want to use the language, man, my hands are ashy. But that's fine. I'm normal. I'm a person. I'm real. Okay, give me a break. So, you know, 
Speaking of learning languages, you'll never believe these three easy tips to boost your language acquisition skills. Head on over to fluentfriendsonline.com, sign up and we will send you an exclusive video. This is not on YouTube and best of all, it's free directly into your inbox. If you like what you're seeing so far, subscribe, hit the like button, thumbs up, thumbs down. If you want to see that exclusive video, the link is in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Spasiba, arigato, kamsameda, oshe, shia shia. Bye.